Hey everybody, it's me, Pastor Natalie. This is Pastor Trey, and we're here to tell you about some prophecies from the Old Testament. Did you know there are prophecies throughout the entire Old Testament that predict what the Messiah would look like? And Jesus fulfilled those prophecies to show us that he really was the Son of God. Hey, Pastor Trey. Yeah. What's a prophecy? A prophecy is a message about the future given to us by God through a prophet. That's right. And so we're going to start and we're going to look at prophecies about Jesus' entire life. And we're going to start with him as a little baby. Did you know there's a prophecy in the Bible that says exactly how Jesus is going to be born? And it says that Jesus would be born on a bed of ham. No. A bed of ham? Yes. Don't you mean a Bethlehem? Bed of ham. No, I mean a bed of ham. Because that's what it says. Natalie, there's nowhere in the Bible where it says that Jesus would be born on a bed of ham. It says that he would be born in Bethlehem. Okay, fine. Bethlehem, bed of ham, they sound the same. I'll give you that one. But did you know that the Bible also says that Jesus would be a descendant of Abraham Lincoln, and that's why he had a killer beard when he walked on earth? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln lived in like... The 1800s. Yes, he did. Jesus lived in like 1 AD. Yes, he the did. The Bible says that Jesus was a descendant of Abraham and Isaac, not Abraham Lincoln. <sighs> Whatever. Abraham and Isaac, Abraham Lincoln. Okay, fine. But here's another prophecy that's in the Old Testament. It says that Jesus would sit on a throne made out of the hair of King David. <sighs> it does not say. Yes, it does. It does not say that. It says that he would be an heir, Pastor Natalie, an heir to the throne of David. He How? would sit on a throne of hair. You just said it. No, heir. Hair. Heir. I'm saying the same thing as you. Heir. How would Jesus make a throne out of King David's hair? I don't know, but I don't put limits on my God, Pastor Trey. I'm not putting limits on God, but a throne made out of hair? That's just nasty. Jesus was of the house of David through his mother Mary and his earthly father, Joseph. Okay, fine, I'll give you that one. But the coolest prophecy that we see fulfilled is from Zechariah 9.9. And it says that Jesus is gonna come in to Jerusalem riding in style in a Corvette. A Corvette? Yes, no. a Corvette. Jesus came, in, Jesus came riding in Jerusalem on a donkey, like it was predicted in Zechariah. But it would be cooler if he had come in on a Corvette. But it's not accurate, and you can't teach these kids false information. Okay, so he comes right into Jerusalem on a donkey, and as he's riding in on the donkey, all of the people start to throw themselves into the street going, I want to take a selfie with Jesus! No, that is not true. Yes, that didn't is. happen. It is. They, they didn't. shouted and they threw themselves. No, they didn't throw themselves into the street. Then what'd they throw? They threw down palm branches, and they shouted Hosanna. But so I was close, because I had the throwing and I had the shouting. So basically, I had it right. Uh, not really. We do know that Jesus was the Son of God and that these prophecies that were predicted in the Old Testament, he did fulfill in the New Testament. He did, just like he said he would. You know, one of the cool things that I always notice about Israel when we're here is when you're walking the places and you can see where the prophecies were actually, you know, prophesied and yeah. fulfilled about Jesus. It's one of the really cool things to me is, you know, we see that these things that happened in the Bible, they really happened and we get to see yeah. them with our eyes. Wait, wait, wait. What's a prophecy? What's a prophecy? We'll see. There were these people back in the Old Testament. And they, were, they were the prophets and God would give them something to say and they would tell the people. And a lot of the time they would write it down. We see this in the books of Jeremiah, in the book of Ezekiel, Daniel, Zechariah. Those are all books in the Bible that are prophetic books. And they're talking about what's going to happen in the future. And a lot of those prophecies are about Jesus. And when Jesus came during his birth through death on the cross, we see that he fulfilled all the prophecies about what he was going to be like here on earth. 
So it's kind of like in Zechariah how they talk about his triumphal entry, which is yeah. fulfilled in Matthew. Yeah. Yes, when they, in Zechariah, you're right. They talk about Jesus that he will come, that the Messiah will come in riding the colt of a donkey, and we see that in Matthew 21 that during the triumphal entry, he really did come in riding on the colt of a donkey. Wait, didn't like a lot of people ride donkeys? I mean, that's no big deal. You ride a donkey, you ride a donkey. They didn't have cars. Yeah, you're right. A lot of people did ride donkeys, but did a lot of people ride donkeys? into Jerusalem where a bunch of people are watching, throwing down their coats and palm branches saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, glory to God in the highest. No. That's only recorded one time. <laughs> but it was maybe just a good guess by Zechariah or something. It could have been a good guess, but there are multiple prophecies that we see. We see prophecies about his birth, his life, and even his death and resurrection. Yes. He prophesied about his death and resurrection too. But we see that every single one of them is fulfilled, even to the point of where they say that he's going to die and that he's going to be bruised and beaten for us, but that no bone will be broken. Mm. And we see that through the crucifixion. Fine. We're getting closer, but we're still not there yet. <laughs> You're coming over to our side. I feel it. No! In all seriousness, it's a really big deal that Jesus did fulfill the Old Testament prophecies. See, there are people that may say that Jesus, well, he was just a prophet. He was just a rabbi. He was just a really good teacher. But because Jesus fulfilled those Old Testament prophecies, we can know that he is the son of God. We can know that he is the king of kings. We can know that he is our savior and that he can save us from our sins. Well, guys, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you'll join us again next week as we go on another quest to discover who Jesus really is.